Aeroflot Flight 593 was a regular passenger flight from Russia to Hong Kong. So what went bad on March 23, 1994 that the aircraft operating the route crashed into the Alatau mountain ranges, killing 63 passengers and 12 crew members on the board? Wanna know it all? Then don't go anywhere else and keep watching NYK, now we know. On 23rd March 1994, the jet aircraft was en route from Sheremetyevo International Airport in Moscow to Kaitak Airport in Hong Kong, with 75 occupants aboard, of whom 63 were passengers. Relief pilot Kudrinsky was taking his two children on their first international flight and they were brought to the cockpit while he was on duty. Five people were thus on the flight deck, Kudrinsky, co-pilot Piskaryov, Kudrinsky's children elder Anyana, and another pilot, Vladimir Makarov, who was flying as a passenger. With the autopilot active, Kudrinsky, against regulations, let the children sit at the controls. First, his daughter Yana took the pilot's left front seat. Kudrinsky adjusted the autopilot's heading to give her the impression that she was turning the plane, though she actually had no control over the aircraft. Shortly thereafter, Kudrinsky's son Elder occupied the pilot seat. Unlike his sister, Elder applied enough force to the control column to contradict the autopilot for 30 seconds. This caused the flight computer to switch the plane's ailerons to manual control while maintaining control over the other flight systems. A silent indicator light came on to alert the pilots of this happening. The pilots who had previously flown Soviet-designed planes that had audible warning signals apparently failed to notice it. Elder was the first to notice a problem when he observed that the plane was banking right. Although Kudrinsky and Piskaryov regained control and leveled out the wings, they did not know how far they had descended during the crisis, and the altitude by then was too low to recover. The plane thus crashed at a high vertical speed estimated at 70 meters per second. Also, all the 75 occupants died on impact. No distress calls were made prior to the crash. Despite the struggles of both the pilots to save the aircraft, the plane had mayday, crashed. Mayday, emergency, emergency. However, it was later concluded that if they had just let go of the control column, the autopilot would have automatically taken action to prevent stalling, thus avoiding the accident. 